today we're talking about my gym transformation then also some gym techniques for you guys that are struggling out there i know it's very very difficult to get the body you want but it is possible it does take time so keep that in mind lots of time um i'm gonna just go ahead and start with my story and then after that we'll go ahead and talk into the strategies that you guys can do that will help you out you also pick up on these strategies in my story as well so enough being said we'll go ahead and just start off with my story so this is going to be around 2017 2018 it was an awkward year for me uh that's when i started exercising and picking it up but then i got an injury that set me back and pretty much i was going with a gym partner and see the thing is a lot of people they want to go with a gym partner but I'm not gonna lie that sets you back and it's better to just go and work out alone so many reasons why you don't have to count on anybody you don't have to wait on them you can do whatever you want if you feel like hitting legs that day and they feel like hitting arms or chest you can hit legs and it all depends on your situation on all that everybody's different but anyways um couple more examples you can listen to music music helps you out um just show up time so many things into consideration so working out alone was one of those things that when i first first started i was really dependent on somebody else showing up to the gym and see the thing is when this this was probably around 2018 2019 i was working out at home so a home gym didn't cut it either didn't help me out I was working out doing those house workouts and see the thing with house workouts they're nice because you're there at your house you can do whatever you want but you get distracted easily and when you get distracted easily that's not good for you and see when i go to the gym i take it serious because i know i'm paying for it on top of that i know that i need to hit certain reps um and pretty much certain weights that i need to push just because last time that's what i did or whatever but anyways that's i didn't find that out till later on so like 2019 i realized oh you know what i got to start putting on weight in order to get my dream body i was like how the heck do i put on weight and this is one thing that really really i struggled with because at the time i was weighing about 120 pounds currently i'm weighing about 160 guys so in about we're in 2022 right now so in about three years put on about 40 pounds just so you guys know it does take time but back to 2019 so 2019 i was learning oh you know what i need to bulk up i need to do this i gotta eat more and i was like okay i was experimenting trying to do those coloring shakes uh taking the mass gainers and all that but then i found out uh in 2020 i was like oh there's an app for that and it's called my fitness pal you guys never heard of that highly recommend downloading it and using it this will help you with gaining weight or losing weight and see this really put open my eyes i was like i'm not eating enough and that tripped me out i was like i thought i was eating enough but when you start tracking what you're eating excuse me guys uh, so when you start tracking what you're eating and you realize oh I'm messing up here there and that you really opens your eyes you're like oh this is what i can do to correct it this is what i'm doing wrong and that helps you out so much so download my fitness pal so i realized i was like you know what i'm not eating enough so how can i get some extra food i was like you know what what if i start eating out so i started doing a dirty bulk and currently i still am but i cut i'm cutting out the sugars because sugar isn't good for you but I'm still eating like fast food and all that just not high like the when you get a soda and all that I don't drink that just because sugar isn't good for you um so that was pretty much 2020 2021 and then now in 2022 I ended up learning all oh, progressive overload and if you guys don't know what progressive overload is it's pretty much pushing a heavier weight than what you're used to best way to put it for you guys or a couple extra reps so you can start implementing that and that most of all and the dieting has really helped me on my physique i'm really impressed with my body i'm starting to get really happy and appreciative just to show you guys a little quick 
Um, my arms used to be freaking twigs. And see, another thing is paying attention to what your body is lacking. So look in the mirror, look at your physique, be like, you know what? If your stomach is round and all that, realize you have to lose weight. If your shoulders are small, well, guess what? You're gonna have to work out your shoulders a little bit extra. And that's what I was constantly doing with my physique. I'm like, okay, well, I look in the mirror. I'm like, my traps, my trap on one side is smaller than the other. So what does that mean? I gotta hit the other side a little bit more or see if I'm doing the form a little bit differently and all that. And see, that's what I started doing. I started paying attention to my physique. And so like with this arm, so just so you guys can see it here, I do apologize if this bothers some of you guys. Anyways, I have an injury there, but when I was working out in the gym, pushing a uh, shoulder press and all that, I was like, why does my arm uh, look smaller? And when I was uh, also doing biceps and all that, I was like, this arm's smaller than the other side. And see, I didn't know why. So if you guys have any injuries, that could be a reason why your physique is a little bit odd here and there, but I'm going to try helping you guys out. So I kind of explained my story here real quick for you guys, just so you guys understood um, what I did and all that and what was going on, but tips on for you guys on what you can do to get the physique you want. First thing, take dieting serious. If you don't take dieting seriously, you're never ever going to get the physique you want. Of course, you'll, you'll, get muscle if you're working out but it's going to be either hidden or it won't grow as much depending if you're on the heavier side or if you're on the lighter side and they both have their ups and downs so keep that in mind both of them either way they both suck if you're in the happy middle all you got to do is literally just put on just go work out that's as simple as it is but anyways so download my fitness pal enter your information on it and be like, okay, do I need to lose weight? So when you're losing weight, calorie deficit, that's what it means. Losing weight means calorie deficit, it means you're cutting out calories. You're gonna be losing about 500 calories at most. Don't go more than that, you can if you're losing weight. I wouldn't recommend it because you're gonna lose a whole lot of muscle. But if you don't have any muscle to begin with, it's not that bad. And you can put on muscle later. And then if you're on the lighter side, you better start eating and eat about 500 calories uh, surplus every day and don't go over that because you will get like really really fatty and chubby and all that you'll have a lot of stomach fat and I, I can pretty much say that my stomach has gotten a whole lot fatter but when I cut I know it'll end up be going away but see the thing is to find out okay are you in a calorie deficit or calorie sur surplus do you need to gain weight or lose weight? Once you find that out, whatever your guys' goals are, uh, then the next thing is going to be exercising. So the way you, how you want to exercise is hit all your body parts. Make sure you're not skipping anything. So don't forget to work out your neck, your traps, your shoulders, your chest, your lats, your back, your lower back, your quads, hamstrings, calves, forearms biceps triceps you got to know the anatomy of your body and see with your your body you got to learn okay so like back to my story i noticed i was lacking my traps so like i knew what exercises would work out my traps so find out what exercises target what certain muscles and all that and that will help you out so much so like if you're you're missing like let's say your arms your biceps your front part of your arms are looking small but the triceps are are freaking massive well guess what you need to start working out those biceps if your legs are smaller than your upper body well guess what you better start hitting legs a bit more often than what you're already doing because what you're doing is making your legs small compared to the rest of your body thing is you want to keep your body in proportions you don't want to be looking funky the dude with the big old upper body with no legs or vice versa whatever it may be it all depends on you guys' situation on how you want to make your physique look and target those certain muscle groups and then also learning the anatomy of your body is really really important because once you learn okay this muscle if i just go like that i'm already activating my shoulder possibly the trap no not the traps but 
you're activating the mid and front shoulder. I didn't feel the, the rear, but see, there's already three parts of the shoulder. And for those of you that didn't know that, well, see, you probably just thought shoulder was one muscle, but there's three muscles in the shoulder. And see, that that's the importance of knowing the anatomy. And then also knowing your protein intake. So protein intake is very, very important. I noticed this a big difference in me when I work out and then I don't get my protein. I get super, super sore and I'm like, e, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip a muscle. If I move a, a certain way, I get like muscle spasms there. It's freaking awful. But when I get enough protein, that really isn't the case for me. I'm like, you know what? I feel good. So the amount of protein you want to take, and this is going to be quite a bit, but pretty much 0.85 times your, your body weight. So if you weigh 100 pounds, you multiply that times 0.85 you'll be taking 85 grams of protein for 100 pounds. And you can do 0.85 to one gram. And that's recommended. And you guys can do whatever you want. It's your choice if you want to or not. But that's the recommended for protein is 0.85 to one gram. You wanna make it easy, one gram. Okay, if you weigh 175 pounds, guess what? You have to eat 175 grams of protein. But if you wanna be on the lighter side of the protein part, make it a little bit easier on yourself, do 0.85 and then whatever number you guys get be like, oh okay i need to eat this much protein so it all depends on your situation so we already covered my fitness pal uh figuring out if you're in deficit or not knowing your anatomy so you can know what exercises you need to hit and all that so you look up some youtube videos plenty of good people out there showing exercises then another thing i'm going to recommend to you guys is start looking around in your gym find out what guys are freaking built and the reason I say this is because you can go up to them and be like, hey, I, I see you have like big arms or big shoulders. How the heck did you do that? And I'll be like, oh, okay, I did this. I, I do these exercises. Like, hey, can you show me real quick or whatever? Just be cool with them. And also on top of that, you get to meet somebody cool and be like, always tell them what's up. But see, the thing is, they'll, those guys that are know what they're doing, they'll help you out. They don't mind and especially for like a spot and all that don't be afraid to ask them for a spot in the gym or anybody in the gym because last thing you want to do is get injured and we're also going to cover that you want to make sure you're doing your your exercises properly because if you don't do them properly and you do them improper you can injure yourself you'll lose muscle and then you'll also set yourself back really not good and i can say this for sure because there's a couple times that i was working out I got injured and then I lost muscle or let's say you get sick or whatever really sets you back so when I got sick now just recently I lost freaking seven eight pounds of body weight that took me seven eight weeks to put on and I'm struggling putting it on top of that it cost me money it's not it's not cheap to bulk up it's very very expensive so a lot of people think it's nice but it's really really bad on on the wallet it's nice to eat it, but it's not nice on the wall. It means I have to work more. Anyways, guys, um, video is already going on 13 minutes. I think I gave you guys enough points to kind of give you in the right direction. Hope my story at the beginning um, through the years and all that helped you out and give you an idea of what happened and all that, where I started learning certain things. Um, before we go real quick, I guess I'll cover progressive overload just so you guys know exactly how I do it. And this may be beneficial to you. Progressive overload, the way how you should do it, the proper way I actually learned. And I noticed my muscle growth, huge difference, is the way how you should do it is find out, okay, what's your your max weight for eight reps? If you guys don't know what eight reps is, it means eight times. Sets means number of how many times you do the, the reps. So eight reps means you, you're going to be, let's say, you guys should be familiar with the bicep curl. Bicep curl is just curling your arm up and then down eight times. That's eight reps. That would be one set. Then you do your second set, another eight reps. So the way I'm trying to get a progressive overload, giving guys a quick ex idea how to explain reps and sets for you guys real quick. But progressive overload, the way you do that is I do it by reps. So I start off with eight reps on my max weight. So once I can hit 
uh, all eight reps on all my sets, I increase the reps to 10 reps. I, I do 10 times now. So 10 times of just exercising doing that on all my sets. When I do that, I do 12 reps. And once I can hit all 12 reps, I go to 15 reps. After I go to 15, I drop the reps back down to eight, but I increase the weight. And then you start all over again. It's, it's just repeat. So you do eight reps across all your sets. And then if you hit all those sets with eight reps, then you can increase the reps to 10. From 10 reps to all the sets, you increase the reps to 12. Then from 12 to 15. And you guys should understand the way how it works. When it goes from 15, you go back all the way back down to eight, but you increase the weight. That's the only time you increase the weight is when you're going from 15 to eight. And trust me guys, that method just alone and dieting will honestly give you the most muscle growth ever. And that's what I experienced. Cause now in 2022, that's where I really, I was like, whoa. A lot of people have been complimenting. They're like, you got big. I was like, big. I look at myself every day and I'm like, I look the same. Another thing before we go real quick, take progress pictures. Progress pictures are really important. So like I have pictures from when I first, first started to the middle, to the semi, like three quarters way, and then to where I'm at currently. And then the pictures I have now, I'll be comparing later on down the road. So pictures are very important. But if I give you guys really good information or you guys liked what I presented to you guys, make sure you drop me a thumbs up. And if you guys have any um, suggestions or advice for anybody else, go ahead and drop it down below. They would probably appreciate that. And then also help me out for my YouTube algorithm. But anyways, take care, guys.